I think I mentally just live in like a rom-com or maybe like a John Green but in our stars narrative. A John Green novel. I think mentally that's where I am a lot of the time. Um, so this is my week as a rom-com. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chazza. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I feel like I've consistently been posted on YouTube for like a hot minute now. It's been two weeks, bitch. It's literally been two weeks. And I'm a flop. <laughs> I literally thought to myself, Byron will get back on the game. We'll upload twice a week again. And by doing so, I feel like my views and everything have just dropped. I feel like no one gives a fuck anymore. <laughs> the more effort I put in, the less people want to see. <laughs> I don't know if that is just like a metaphor for my life and I should just live my life with minimal effort. Work smarter, not harder. <sighs> but I thought it was time to like up my shit and like get on my Anastasia King's Love twice a week upload. But apparently no one actually gives a fuck. <laughs> it's literally almost not the morning. It's 11.38 and I'm still late in bed. To be fair, I did wake up this morning and edit a full video, so will not be attacking me. Oh my god, look how pale my palm of my hand looks. Why does my hand look that ginormous? Ow! When he has big hands. <sighs> I'm literally scratching my bum all right now. <sighs> Bitch, I'm sleepy. Ugh. Right. We can't do this anymore. We gotta get up. I gotta get up. <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, Lord. Ew. I was gonna film me putting my slippers on, but why do my legs and feet look like this? Oh. No, I did not order McDonald's and KFC. Someone is out to expose a hoe today. And that hoe is me. Tap reminds me of, do you, know the, do you know the meme of Violet from The Incredibles where she's like got the water gushing out her nose? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna literally put my heating on for an hour because I am cold. Bring this baby up. We'll put it on 28 degrees, we live in a little tropical climate moment. I don't want to take this little headband off, headband, eye mask off because you can already see what my hair's gonna look like underneath. Should we do a grand reveal? Three, two, one. Oh my god, I thought my hair had snapped off then. Tell me I'm pretty in the comments. Don't hesitate, just tell me I'm pretty. Right, everyone, we've literally just wrapped an episode of the podcast. We're now going to film a video for Anna's channel. The Calvin Fire are coming out and have been actually the entire time we've been recording the podcast getting the supplies. Don't know where they've gone and where they get any supplies from because realistically, it's not meant to take that long. Um, but we're going to film and then I think I'm going to a drag show tonight, so I will keep you updated. We can have one pint and think, oh, well, we'll get an Uber or we've got enough time to walk. Do you know what I mean? But then at least we'll have a traffic so bad. Um, hi everyone, I'm back home. I literally have just tidied my apartment. Lewis has come over. I said in the last clip that we were potentially going to see a drag show. Turns out, me and Lewis are in fact going to see a drag show. We spent all evening yesterday watching God Save Our Queens, which is basically like the drag tour that the season one girls on RuPaul's Drag Race two years ago. And we were saying we want to go and see it. And then we realised there's literally one in Manchester with like a horror, ginger minge taste, uh, crackers. Miss Cracker. There's literally so many people going. And it's tonight, so we were like, right, we're going to book it. Did invite everyone else, but everyone's homophobic and don't want to come to a drag show. So it's just the guys. Guys, not it. <laughs> Kind of a drag show, we're just watching a bit of football before. <laughs> Can't be too gay tonight, we've got to level it out a little bit. <laughs> Oh 
गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग ब्रेक डाउन That were quite impressive actually for an early morning little vocal warm up. Um, hi everyone, I do in fact have a bruise on my shoulder. It is not a hiccup. If you saw, I don't know where I'm up to with my vlogs currently. I'm a few vlogs behind. Um, don't know where I am with the vlogs, but if you've seen up until this point, I went paintballing and I got shot in the shoulder. I was shot. This is what I'd pose like if I was shot. Anyway, I had a very traumatic experience this morning. Basically, my apartment's not even big, but I was sat in my office. This is my office. <laughs> Editing a video. I'm just going to leave you at this angle. I know it's horrible, but I just you're balancing on the door knob, so I can't move it up and down. The door is just the door. Basically, I was editing in my little office, and my intercom is like by my front door. So the postman rang my intercom, and at first I didn't hear it so editing, and I heard like I like paused my thing and like, "Oh, is that?" And then it rang again. I'm like, "Oh shit, it is." I have all my wires plugged in so I had to slowly like get my laptop off of me otherwise I disconnect on my hard drive and all the rest of the bullshit. The guy were ringing my fucking doorbell but they don't wait around like they do not wait around. It rang like three times I ran over to the thing and literally as I went to press accept it said the user has ended the call and I was like oh great so now I'm in my silk pajama bottoms POV this is me I'm in this exact outfit with these silk pajama bottoms on my big dressing gown and I literally like sprinted down to there to try and catch him chased him down to the bottom of the road and we're like oh my god please don't I, I want my parcel I need my parcel I need this parcel. So I literally chased a poor man down the street in a dressing gown and some black silk pajamas screaming, oh my God, wait, the color is escaping. <laughs> That is literally in my head what I were hearing and I would get an ick about myself. And overall, I just shouldn't run in general. Especially not after a parcel that's coming from Amazon. Do you know what I mean? The guy also delivered me. Just, it literally came in a box like this. Like literally just a normal, what package is this? Parcel box, literally just a normal box. I opened it and I'm meant to be working with, I don't even know if I can say this, I don't know how brand deals work. I'm working with Sunglasses Hut. Or I have been meant to be working with Sunglasses Hut for a little while. Then I woke up this morning to a parcel of just some Burberry sunglasses with no note, no message, no nothing. But I didn't choose Burberry sunglasses as like part of the thing. I'm not complaining, don't know. Maybe I've got a sugar today. Maybe someone is being my sugar today. I did message my manager and be like, hi, I'm confused. If, is this, do I, uh, can I keep these? I'm gonna keep them. These glasses might feel like the baddest bitch alive. I mean, I know they probably look awful, but I just feel like a rich mom. Like, hi, my son's in detention for being a bad bitch. Anyway, I need to stop being a stupid boy and um, get on with my day because I know I'll sit down for one minute and suddenly it will be 6pm and Lewis will be like, oh, where are you? And I'll be like, oh my god, I've not done any of my work. Fuck. And bow. And I just threw on my pearl necklace. I always get asked where my pearl necklace is from. I got it literally like maybe two years ago from a company called Chained and Abel. It's really nice, but it's magnetic. Like the little fast as my magnetic. And because I've had it so long, it sometimes just drops off in it. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine But nothing ever changes And now I see, baby, you are hurting me Stuck in repeat Stuck
you could 